Good evening, Madam Chair, members of the board, and Dr. Heron. This evening, on behalf of our core partners and the Office of Student Services, Janice Fowler, Supervisor of Health Services, and I will share information regarding a unique partnership which provides a collaborative and comprehensive approach to families and positively impacts student readiness to learn. The equity presentations given thus far have focused on initiatives directly within our schools. Tonight's presentation highlights a community-based initiative addressing risk factors which impact students and their families. Before beginning the presentation, I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce members of that partnership that are here supporting us this evening. Please welcome for me, Jean Zeidler, President and Chief Executive Officer for the Williamsburg Health Foundation. She'll wave. Paul Scott, Executive Director for Child Development Resources. Lisa Thomas, Deputy Director for Child Development Resources. Rebecca Vinroot, Director of Social Services for James City County. Wendy Evans, Deputy Director of Social Work and Community Services for the City of Williamsburg. Gwen Kitson, the Care Team Manager from the City of Williamsburg. And Bob Keller, a WJCC social worker. And this is just part of the team, so you can see what a group effort this is. We appreciate their attendance tonight as well as their ongoing support. During the 2014-15 school year, representatives from WJCC schools were invited by the Williamsburg Health Foundation to participate in a work group focused on children. This age group was initially the focus group, preschool children, as it was seen as a transitional time period between the services offered through child development resources and our school division. This work has been guided with strategic planning support from Dr. Stephen Horan with Community Health Solutions. His guidance ensured that the outcomes identified by the team were based on current research and best practices. As we looked into the barriers to school attendance for our student population, it quickly became evident that these barriers were not always directly related to the child's personal health, but rather to any of a number of factors impacting the stability and health of the family. Our research led us to the strong belief that a comprehensive, multi-agency partnership that works to address barriers to access would provide the best opportunity to create a stable home environment for families and would better allow students to come to school ready to learn. The City of Williamsburg's Department of Human Services was invited by the Health Foundation to submit a grant request for piloting the initiative. Implementation began in July of 2015. From its inception, the City of Williamsburg, Child Development Resources, and WJCC schools have worked collaboratively to identify our most at-risk families and provide them with the tools to empower them to gain stability. A guiding tenet of the Child Health Initiative is a focus on the whole family. Research from Ascend at the Aspen Institute recognizes the concept of a two-generation continuum. With the whole family as the focus, supports and resources are developed from two perspectives. From the child-focused perspective, the core partners looked at areas which, with limited access or understanding, can impact the parent's ability to support their child's physical, emotional, and social development. This can include areas such as family literacy or generational educational neglect. From the parent-focused perspective, this can include elements such as child care assistance, access to stable housing, or reliable transportation. All of these elements become interrelated and ultimately impact a child's development and readiness for learning. We believe that education, economic assets, social capital, and health and well-being are the core components that create an intergenerational cycle of opportunity. Quality early education for children and post-secondary education for parents are central to approaches that move the whole family toward economic security. The focus is on networks and systems most able to influence the lives of our families. Within our community, one example of these networks are the programs which provide young children with opportunities for early childhood development. These resources include CDR, Head Start, Bright Beginnings, and community preschool programs and activities. The Child Health Initiative purpose was developed following many months of research and discussion, which led to the realization that in order to most effectively support our children, 
we must address the needs of the family with a priority on health and well-being by utilizing a multi-agency team approach. Dean Zeidler, the current president of the Williamsburg Health Foundation, has been a pivotal member of the team developing the organizational model for the Child Health Initiative. Ms. Zeidler, along with Lisa Thomas, the deputy director of CDR, <laughs> describe for you the initiative's development. The Health Foundation uh, is really working to improve the health of people who live in our community. And we have this vision that every individual who lives here should have the opportunity to make good decisions for their own health. And so this initiative with children was to ensure that children have that opportunity as well. There's a lot of evidence that shows that um, poverty and uh, health outcomes are very related. And so the, some of the barriers that we see here are the barriers that are associated with poverty, poor nutrition, lack of sleep, a housing that's not stable, um, family situations that are uncertain, and the Child Health Initiative with connecting um, community supports with health resources kind of begins to address all of those together. The Williamsburg Health Foundation identified the Child Health Initiative as a way of addressing the need for home visiting support for families that were um, really struggling with some um, global issues that were affecting their child's health and development. The initiative really needed some strategic planning support to help the partners really identify what the critical components of the model would be and to really help us kind of talk through what, um, what our approach would be, um, what we already knew, what things we didn't know, how we would communicate it with our community partners, and then what our strategic direction would be. It's really um, valuable to have an outside third party who can um, help people think through the project as it's being developed. We recognize that for children and their families, needs are becoming more and more complex, and one agency cannot address all of them. One of the things that we know about child development um, and about education in particular is that children do best in an educational setting when their other needs are also being met. So we need to make sure that they have stable housing and they have access to nutritious food and they can go to the doctor and their parents have the supports that they need um, in improving their parenting skills. And if all of those things work well, then the child will be successful in school. So how did we begin? The implementation of the Child Health Initiative began as a pilot focused on the families living in the city of Williamsburg. The core partners established the goals seen here for the Child Health Initiative in order to focus on actively engaging the family and community agencies as partners. This collaborative approach provides services and supports based on specific family needs and goals. Child Health Initiative serves families who present with multiple risk factors and demonstrate a readiness to participate. These families can be referred for eligibility from any of the core partners. In WJCC, our school nurses, social workers, psychologists, and school counselors have been trained on the purpose and referral process. An eligibility team with representatives from each of the core partners meets monthly to review referrals and determine eligibility. Once a family is eligible, a member of the care team meets with the family to identify areas of need. The family then determines their goals that they want to achieve. The City of Williamsburg Department of Human Services has identified the staff members working in the Child Health Initiative as the care team. The team is comprised of three staff. The care team coordinator provides case management services to families, performs administrative duties, and oversees the day-to-day -day operation of the Child Health Initiative. The care team nurse guides and educates families to improve their connection to community health supports and services. The nurse also provides health education to the adults and children in the family, leading to a healthier lifestyle. The case manager assists with the coordination of support systems to the family and children to produce better health outcomes. The case manager assists families with needs assessments, monitoring, planning, and advocacy in order to obtain needed services and benefits.
We know that health and well-being can be severely impacted for families who have multiple needs and challenges. A family-centered approach focuses on improving child health and well-being by strengthening the collaboration with local providers. Multiple agencies work together to engage families as partners to help them achieve both parent-centered goals and children's health goals, to help family members gain skills for a healthier lifestyle, and to help families navigate through various support systems, health and otherwise. Many of the goals are centered around stable housing, addressing mental health concerns, accessing community services and supports, and establishing a medical home, which means establishing a partnership between healthcare professionals and families to provide comprehensive and high quality primary care. In order to build on the unique strengths of each family, all families enrolled in the Child Health Initiative have a team that in addition to a primary case manager and nurse, may include school representatives, mental health providers, community agencies, and other service providers. Families have frequent contact with the care team, including home visits, regular team meetings, medical appointment navigation and accompaniment, health promotion and education, as well as ongoing monitoring of services. All families have the following standard health goals. Children's immunizations are up to date. A primary care provider is identified. Medical information and appointments are organized and readily accessible, and families choose six health education modules to complete. This video, in this video, care team members share perspectives on the Child Health Initiative and its powerful effects on care team families. The goals of the care team is to en enhance the, the health and well-being of, of the, the children. And one of the things that we know is that children cannot come to school and learn if they're hungry or if they're worried about where they're going to sleep tonight or if, if mom or dad has been out of work for one month, six months, and there's no money. So one of the things that we address is, is we, we look at those issues. We look at employment. We look at housing. We look at at the things that the family needs to, to sort of provide a stable home environment best we can so children are able to come to school and focus on the things that they need to focus on, which is learning. I really see the value in having the core partners working together on a regular basis as being able to share their expertise and even at the level of service delivery, each of the partners brings knowledge of that child and family from a much different perspective and when we actually sit and share what we know, it makes it so much easier to come up with solutions that work. Um, and from my perspective as a school social worker, uh, we have several families or families that have some high needs. And I'm able to contact um, and put a referral into the care team to say, these are some families or this is a family that is really struggling and needs some additional layers of support that uh, we at the school level are not able to address. The child is living in a motel or children are living in a motel. Multiple people, sleep can be an issue. Um, food and nutrition becomes an issue. There's just so many different um, factors that can impact that and I see the care team addressing those bit by bit. Through the grant from the Health Foundation, we have been able to fund several families for obtaining CNA license, CDL. We have assisted families with maintaining housing, or if there's a medical need and they may need some type of treatment that they are unable to afford, we have been able to accommodate their needs. I try to help people to um, care for their kids, uh, follow through on doctor's orders, get to appointments, and sometimes these appointments are far away. It might be Norfolk, it might be Richmond. And so I help with um, getting them there, helping them understand things, and to um, make them accountable to try to follow through what the doctor asks. So it gives them the confidence to do what needs to be done um, and empowers parents. To be able to have you know, eyesight that's corrected, um, that's just one example. Dental care, you know, or if they have asthma, a chronic condition where they need a medication, 
Um, you can't think about math and reading when your teeth hurt or if you're having trouble taking a breath. And I think what we often say about the care team program is that, that in our world it takes a village to provide services for the program. And I believe that the, the power comes from the partners that have, have, have stepped to the table and, and creating this, this sort of ripple effect. The power of this initiative is that the core partners have developed this really cohesive and strong working relationship. And any time that you can develop relationships across agencies for the benefit of kids and families, then the community really comes out on top. With WJCC as a core partner of the Child Health Initiative, the impact on students' lives and readiness to learn has not gone unnoticed, as you can see by comments from school staff members. These data reflect the current work of the care team as well as their work to date. Since its inception, 48 families have been served, affecting the lives of 93 children. A care team family shared the following comment on the services provided by the care team. Quote, the communication with my case manager is great. There's a level of confidence my case manager has in me and my family. If there's something specific that my family needs, the urgency of a return phone call for the need is spectacular, as are the resources they provide. You can see that just in November of 2017, the care team provided a variety of services to families residing in the city of Williamsburg. And this is just a snapshot of the many services they provided. A care team participant satisfaction survey, one family shared, quote, the care team is dedicated to helping us organize our lives and lead healthier, more productive, and independent lives. In this video, our core team members and two of our families share the impact of the Child Health Initiative. <laughs> One example is a young man that we were working with. He was a teen dad who had a child with special needs and was struggling with housing and transportation and child care issues, as well as trying to make sure that his son was getting the special education services that he needed. And by bringing in the partners from the Child Health Initiative, we were able to address his housing issues, his transportation issues. He was studying uh, to become a medical technician, and so we were able to provide some support. And in the end, he was able to accomplish all of his goals. The care team has put us in a better place. They kept us from being homeless and also helped us get on track with our weight, with our goals, things we wanted to just do that we thought we couldn't do. Well, a lot of things we knew what we wanted to do, like I knew I wanted to get my license to kind of like contribute to the household, so I talked with the care manager and she got it all set up together for me, so got my license so I can help out with him, so it took a lot of stress off of him yes. and helped with the family. And he also wanted to get his CDLs and she told him things about how to get the program started, which made him want to go out and do it more. So he's decided to, you know, work for the school system, drive the bus. And my middle son, he has done a 360. He's, I got a call from the principal and he's like, he is doing excellent. We appreciate everything they have done for our family. The care team stood beside me when I was sick and it helped my family. Both of my boys were in the youth achievement program and the care team also got a mentors and a tutor. One of the things that um, is so amazing about the Child Health Initiative is that it's so innovative and that it's so unique and that a small community like ours could come up with an approach that seems to be working so well and that could be replicated in other places. Our intention was always that um, when we have a program that it, that is working and appearing to work. We're looking for ways to scale it and spread it throughout our community so that all children and their families who are, need this can um, have access to it. It's working, that it's working for children and their families and uh, that is very promising long-term.
With the ongoing support of the Williamsburg Health Foundation, planning stages have begun to expand and replicate this initiative. The core partnership now includes James City County Social Services and Old Town Medical Center. James City County Social Services will be submitting a grant to the Williamsburg Health Foundation next month for consideration to expand the Child Health Initiative to James City County residents. Thank you for this opportunity to share this unique and innovative partnership that is positively impacting the lives of our children and families. Stephanie and I are happy to field any questions that you may have. 